Hello. Got the robot working. Wireless remote. It's plugged in. Here's the robot. Right down there. Okay, so I have directional control. Uh, the LEDs here indicate forward and backwards for this side and forward and backwards for this motor. I have two H bridges running like I had before set up. The PWM enables and this is my wireless transmitter that's not sending anything. But when I do send something I'll hit this key right here and as you see that red light will go out and the PWM enables will come on and so the direction. Okay. Direction. That's the forward. Now if I hit this key that should turn them in the other direction. You'll notice the, the green and then the, the red then the green LED. And then I can switch direction. There's green and then red. I would be pushing that button. So I can do this again. And like forward. And backwards. So I'll show you the turn again. Now one more problem. The last problem I'll have of this project is finding a big capacitor so that way when I do push these buttons it will turn. See how it does that? That's fine. But what happens when I turn it the other way? Here it sounds sick. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> this is my first run. Well, it's my first physical run. But what's happening is the motors are discharging so much energy and the capacitors on it can't keep up. So I need a bigger capacitor so I can, uh, so the logic voltage doesn't drop so much. And I can mess everything up. See how it's pulsating like that? So I'm not really planning on doing that. So, see if I can take it over the, into the carpet. See now you have a higher discharge of energy, so I'm having a drop in voltage on the logic side, and it's no good. But anyways, it works, and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, robot should be up and running soon. I'll have this breadboarded into some kind of pretty little box with a camera on it. I mean, with a LCD screen, and that will have the camera on it. And I'll put some servos on it. I'll have a pan and tilt mechanism, and that'll be it. Bye.